whatever the Lord's laid on your heart tonight. Turn it, Michael. Don't lift him up. Turn in the book of Job, if you will. It's Job and then Psalms and then Proverbs, somewhere about the middle of the Bible. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm ahead of you. I've done put my ribbon in that place. Brother, Brother Tommy, can you turn your microphone on? Okay, I forgot to. I'm sure sorry. Now it's ready to go, I think. Oh, Y'all yeah. can hear me now? <laughs> Job, and, and uh, I'm not going to preach all night long. I'm going to try to preach and get over for the Chick-fil-A closes. Somebody say, you know, <laughs> it ain't because I hadn't had enough to eat. Miss Jean just fed me. I've got corn hug hung in between my teeth and okra. And uh, I've got everything but the toddler eat. But Chick-fil-A's got good ice cream. <laughs> I thought if I put that on top of that cobbler, it'd be the perfect will of God. Somebody say amen. amen. <laughs> so I'm going, I'm going to get through in time to get over there. So y'all ain't got to worry about it. How many's glad you're here? Say hallelujah. Yeah. Y'all understand there's a lot of places we could be. Yeah. And, uh, but God's given us mercy and grace to be here tonight. Yeah. And, uh, and I want to try to help you. I'm, and I, I want you to listen close. And, I, and I, I believe I've got the right crowd to preach this to. Sometimes you got the right crowd and the wrong message. Sometimes you got the right message and the wrong crowd. But what I'm preaching tonight is for y'all. And, uh, and, and it'll help us. And it really, what I'm fixing to say to you is vital. And, uh, not that I've apprehended it. I'm not trying to talk like that, like I know everything. But, but I've been around this a long time. And uh, I've watched the transition that's taking place. And it's not of God. Right. Right. God's an immutable God. One of the great one of the great attributes of our Savior is He never changes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and the inconsistencies of man, I mean, it, it's it's the way it's been. Uh, but but somewhere there's got to be a standard. There's got to be somewhere where nobody mm -hmm. rocks back any further. We're going to mm -hmm. drive something to the ground. Mm -hmm. And if, and if we're going to make a difference, we're going to make up our mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's papas and grannies and, and mamas and, and the granddaddies that's going to have to do it. Because this younger generation, they don't even know what they believe. Uh, they don't even—they have no concept of biblical doctrine. Uh, and, and so I want to help you. We find in chapter one of Job uh, the introduction of this man, and uh, according uh, to verse number eight, the Lord's assessment of him. You understand? This is not his own testimony. This is not. Uh, one of his family members or some about in the community commenting on the lifestyle of Job. This is God Almighty. Yep. And God said to the devil in his conversation, y'all familiar with chapter 1? Yep. The devil's accusing the brethren. And y'all understand that. And he's, he's come to God with the, the truth that mankind was sorry and depraved and getting worse. And then the Lord brought up Job. He said, the, the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job that there's none like him in the earth? Notice this description. A perfect and upright man, one that feareth God and escheweth evil. Now, what that is, he's the right kind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's the kind that even God himself said he's a perfect man. Uh, he's a man who's matured. He's a man who's developed. He's a man who's upright. He's one that fears God. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. He had to, he eschewed evil. That, obviously, I don't know much about what that word eschewed means. You don't either. Somebody say amen. amen. Uh, I can't even spell it. It's hard to say it. <laughs> but the context of this Bible tells us what it means. It means he's upright. Yes. It means he pleased God. Right. And uh, he, he, wasn't, he wasn't an evil man. He, he right. was one that rejected evil. And, and God, out of all of humanity, I'm trying to lay, up, lay a picture when I try to preach. He picks out Job to pit against the devil. Yes. He believed in Job enough that he said, now, you're right, there's some sorry people down there, but there's one of them that's not as bad as the rest of them. And, and how did he get there? What's, what's, what's overwhelming to me is that he didn't have a lot of things that you and I do have. Yes. The theologians say that the book of Job is the oldest of all the Bible. It's the first literary page. Now we would think chronologically Genesis, Exodus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, the books of the law, the books of Moses, the Pentateuch. We would say, well, that's the oldest because in, in the order of the Bible, but that's not, not, not true. 
uh, the theologians, those who know the Bible more than we do, say that this is the oldest page in all the Bible. Right. Mm. That's not by accident because God knew that the humanity from the beginning of man to 2023 on a hot July night, that mankind's going to need to know how to deal with adversity. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mankind's going to have to have to deal with problems. Yes. <laughs> Family dying. Mm -hmm. Children dying. Yeah. Well, yeah. Money gone. Houses destroyed. Right. I'm talking about a negative wife telling him to cuss God and die. Mm -hmm. If you read in that story, right. God told the devil, said you can take everything he's got from him but his life. And, and the devil left his wife because <laughs> he knew he could use her. Somebody say amen. amen. Don't get mad. Go on get happy. Yeah. I mean, he's been doing that a long time. Yeah. And so, man, he was he was a man who set an example. Now, he, now to watch it, y'all still here say hallelujah. Yeah. hallelujah. Notice what he didn't have and was still favored of God. Notice what he didn't have and he was still died with integrity. Notice what he didn't have, and he still finished his life right. Then what he didn't have a Bible. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is the first page. This is the first recording of ink and paper mm -hmm. that God uh, uh, inspired those holy men of God who, who spake as they by the Holy Ghost. Yeah. He didn't have a Bible, but yet he pleased God. Right. Yeah. Y'all with me? Yeah. yeah. He didn't have a Bible. Now we we're Bible believers. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything we do, our practice, our doctrine, everything, we, we're, we're King James, by the way. And if you're not, you came in the wrong place tonight, or y'all have asked the wrong preacher to preach for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. I mean, I ain't, I'm not shaking up. I'm King James. Makes me that nervous to say something about it. Everybody okay? I believe it's, I believe it's a preserved word of God. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He didn't have it. He had no Bible. Are we all together? Yeah. I believe in a church. Yep. I thank God I've saved and born in a church age. This this, this age of grace. Mm -hmm. and, and God has extended this age for over 2,000 years. I don't know how long He's going to keep the door open. Yes, right. But the sun's going to set on this grace one day. Mm -hmm. and if, by the way, if you're here lost, you better go and get saved while you can. Because it's not promised you're going to have a tomorrow. Right. The door could shut at any time on yeah. grace. That's mm -hmm. right. And you'd have to be enduring the tribulation period, get your, get your head cut off and refuse the mark of the beast to make it. And ain't nobody's ever heard the gospel going to do that. Because right. it's in a strong delusion. That's right. That they will leave a lie. Well, so so he didn't have a church. And I'm so New Testament church, I understand if the church is having a cock fight, you ought to bring a shoulder rooster to it. Somebody say amen. <laughs> if it's happening in a church, you ought to be there yes. with bells on your toes, excited about it, back it. I'm talking about every Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, every night of the revival. Yep. Mm -hmm. I got saved in church right. under yep. old-fashioned preaching under, under the conviction of the Holy Ghost right. I got saved I mean I asked the call to preach in church I met my wife in church we got married in church I ain't going I don't like all this getting married jumping out of airplanes <laughs> somebody help me I seen one other day getting married but they both riding bulls getting married I said my lord that's the craziest thing I've heard of bull riding wedding somebody help I mean, if you don't get married, bring God into it. Walk down an aisle, be in a be in a holy place, Amen. Yeah, yeah. And that's the way I believe it. I got, I got. I mean, I, what I know about the Bible, I learned in church. Yes, yeah. sir. Thank God for the church. Yeah, yeah. Amen. I'm for church. Yeah. I, I'm a Bible believing. I'm a, I'm a part of the church yeah. of the living God. Right. But Job didn't have a church. Right. Think about how the church has influenced you. Think about how the church has kept you from doing wrong. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just the fear of our community. I lived in a community where people were members of our church. There's things I could have done that I didn't do just because of the accountability of the church. Yeah. 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 And I didn't, somebody may see me go to my church. Yeah. I didn't do it. Joe didn't have a church. Right. We got a preacher. Yeah. God's called a pastor of this church. Yeah. Yeah. He never called the deacons to pastor the church. Right. Amen. And you need to tell some of your deacons' wives he didn't call them either. Amen. Somebody help me. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Most of these Southern Baptist churches, these deacons wives run that thing. I've done been around long enough to know. Somebody help me. Yeah. Don't bow up on me. Don't bow up on me. I'm being real nice right now. I, I, my, 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 my drink ain't kicked in yet. Somebody help me. It's coming. <laughs> and, and I mean, thank God for a pastor yes. who, who preaches truth to you. Right. And, and God gives him a message and he challenges the people. I've had my toes stepped on. I've been rebuked. I've been reproved. I've been, I mean, I've been preached to. And I thank God for that. That's right. Yeah. It's kept me in line. That's right. It's kept me in check. 
It's the preacher who in the world in his wisdom knew not God. It pleased God through the foolishness of preaching That's to right. say that they would believe. Right. But now let's get it together. Job didn't have a Bible. Mm -hmm. Job didn't have a church. Job didn't have a preacher. Yeah. Yeah. But the Lord said he's a good one. That's in the originals. That's in the Masoretic ancient Hebrew. It, what the Lord said, he's a gooder. <laughs> all all right? Yeah. Said, devil, hey, you ought to consider old Job. He's a gooder, friend. He's the right kind. That's right. Girl. Without a Bible, he's the right kind. That's right. Without a church, he's the right yeah. kind. Without a priest. Guess what? He didn't have a Holy Ghost. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. right. right. Holy Ghost didn't descend over until Acts. That's right. The Spirit of the Lord came upon people in the Old Testament. Amen. But we got indwelt when we got saved. Yeah, I got baptized yeah, yeah. in the body by the yeah. Holy Ghost. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. Yeah, yeah. Don't get excited, but it's Christ in you. That's right. That's it's right. a great yeah. mystery. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Yeah. I don't understand it. That's right. I wish I could get a hand, but but I know that the Holy Ghost lives in me. Yeah. yeah. I'd be riding down. I'll, I'll be going home tomorrow morning, getting up early, getting in the truck. I got to pick up a gooseneck trailer over here at Mike Prim's, and then I got to run by Vilas and get a, get a dog to head home. And uh, man, I, I got a lot to do, but but I, inevitably I'll get sleepy, get tired. I'll hit that radio and it'll start scanning across them channels, and it'll stop sometime on that, you know, down, don't, I said, well, I like that. And my head'll go bobbing. <laughs> and I said, well, that's pretty good right there. Just keep me awake. I'm enjoying that. And my and something on the inside said, no, you don't like that. That's right. Amen. <laughs> And I go, well, I kind of didn't like that. I said, I like that pretty good. And, and something on the inside said, no, no, you don't like that. That's right. And about that time, I'd kick over the next channel, and old Vestal Goodman would come on there. God walks the dark, he heals he, 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 he. the highways and byways. He, Someone say, you like that. I do like that. I like that. I like that. Does anybody have that battle going on? I mean, the flesh lusts against the spirit, the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary one to another. Yeah. And that goes on. You know, that's the Holy Ghost on the inside. That's right. yeah. And a lot of things I could have been involved in, a lot of things I could do, but because of the restraint of the Holy Ghost, yeah. I don't do. That's mm -hmm. right. He keeps me from trouble. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But guess what? Job didn't have that. Go ahead. Go he didn't have it. And yet, yet, God Almighty said, hey, Say, you're looking at the wrong one. Look at my boy Job over here. Yeah. He's a shoe and evil. He's upright. He, he's, he's, a, he's a perfect man. He's the right kind. Mm -hmm. He had the approval of God on his life. Yeah. Without all of those things. Now, let me just say parenthetically, we have all of those things. Right. And we're doing a pretty pretty poor job. Right. Yeah. 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 We got the Bible, man. That ought to be enough to see us through. Yeah. We got the church. That ought to be enough. Yeah. We got the Holy Ghost. That ought to be enough. Yeah. Yeah. Man, we got we got we've we been we've been blessed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He didn't have any of that. He didn't have internet access. He couldn't go on and hear the Christian radio. What no Christian radio? What no? What no? Hey man, what no? Hey, listen. He had limited, limited tools. But he had the power and the approval of God on his life. Now that's what we want. Right. What did he have? I'm going to try to preach or teach. But I want to help you. What did he have? Look at verse 5. Here he is and and, uh, and he ain't got much. But verse number 5. And y'all still listening? Say hallelujah. Now don't y'all don't die on me. Everybody stay listening because I'm, I'm going to call you out in a minute so you better be listening. And it was so that when the days of their feasting, this verse 5, were done, that Job sent and sanctified them, and he rose up early in the morning and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. Talking about his family. Yeah. <clears throat> and for Job said, It may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Thus did Job how often? Continually. Continually. How often did he do this? Now what was he doing? He was offering what kind of offering? A burnt offering. Yeah. Right. Everybody say burnt offering. Burnt offering. Now, now listen to me. He was doing that without a Bible. Yeah. No Levitical law, no Mosaic teaching, no prophet, no priest. Mm -hmm. Wasn't no Moses. You're right. You're right. Wasn't That's no right. Aaron. That's right. And he's offering a burnt sacrifice. Yeah. 
He's doing it all the time. What, 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 what influenced him so? That he obtained the approval of God. He attained the favor of God, the blessing of God. I mean, the protection of God. What was, what was, what was there? Now, here's the message. It was tradition. Go ahead, preacher. Somewhere down the line, it goes all the way back to Cain and Abel. Y'all still, where does it go back to? Cain and Abel. Somewhere down the line, Job's daddy did something like this. He said, hey, y'all, y'all, let's come here a minute. Come here a minute, y'all. Come here, y'all. Y'all come here. Job, Job, come here a minute. Come here, Job's brothers. Come here, Job's sisters. Y'all come here. Get off your cell phones. Yeah. Turn your cell phone off. Y'all come here and sit down. Sit down like Indian style. Sit down. Listen at me, Job. Look at me, Job. Joe, look at me. Look up in here. Boys, girls, y'all look at me. Quit acting silly. Let, get that sticker off your face. Look at me. Look at me, my eyeballs. I'm going to tell y'all something. We're going to fix it. We fixed all for a sacrifice. Yeah. Yes, sir. Go ahead, preacher. And uh, we're going to kill this bullock, we're going to kill this lamb, we're going to kill these doves, and we're going to offer them. We're going to get their blood, we're going to burn them. Yeah. We're going to fillet the meat off the bones, and we're going to burn these things to God, and we're going to offer this to God for, for a, a atonement for our sins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and Job raised his hand and said, what verse do you have for that, Go ahead. Daddy? <laughs> Do you have a verse for that? Yeah. And he said, shut up, boy. That's in the originals. Yeah. <laughs> he said, shut up. He said, you ain't got no business asking stupid questions like that. We're doing it because that's what we're supposed to do. Yeah. I ain't got to have a verse for this because I ain't got no Bible. Well, good, brother. well where'd you learn this? What, what preacher told you? Didn't, didn't go to Bible college, son. I didn't go to seminary and cemetery. Uh-uh. I was taught to do this. That's right, preacher. That's right. And Job, way back yonder, there was this man named Abel. There wasn't four people on earth. And there was his brother named Cain. And Cain offered a sacrifice that wasn't pleasing to God. Righteousness. Right. Sound doctrine. Truth. Versus error. Abel offered a sacrifice and accept, God accepted his sacrifice. Right. And he killed a bullock, he killed a, a, a blood sacrifice, and he offered it. And that thing started way back yonder. Yes. And we're doing it that way because that's how he was told to do it. Right. We ain't got no Bible. Right. We don't have a we don't have a verse, we don't have a prophet's book. We, we, we don't even have a church telling us to do this. But yo, Papa. Your great granddaddy right. told your granddaddy told the granddaddy yeah. to tell me. Your great great granddaddy told your great granddaddy to tell your granddaddy to tell me that yeah. what we're gonna do is we're gonna offer the sacrifice. Yes, right. sir. Yeah. And we're gonna do it this way. Yeah. Now, and that's all that he did. He did it continually without stopping. And God Almighty approved of it. Amen. Mm -hmm. right. Amen. Now listen to me. Traditions. I see all this non-traditional church. Then it ain't Bible. Right. Amen. Amen. All this we're new. If it's new, it ain't true. Right. That's right. It, all this bunch of junk. And and your grandkids are warping y'all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, they, and they're they're duping y'all mm -hmm. and strumming y'all like a cheap banjo. Dang like dang dang dang. dang like. They might as well be playing y'all like a cheap banjo. Because mm -hmm. they got you believing a bunch of hogwash. Mm -hmm. Amen. Like it's some kind of new idea. If it, hey, listen, it was a tradition. Yeah. yeah. A tradition is an unwritten practice. <laughs> Today, I, I fulfilled uh, uh, some of the blessings of tradition. I just ate some some blackberry, some blueberry preserves. Yeah. That her granny told her mama, who was ninety two when she died. Oh yeah. How to tell Miss Jean mm -hmm. how much sugar to put in it. Yeah. What temperature it need to be boiled at. How to sterilize the jars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Every fall of the year we kill hogs. Yeah. I still kill hogs. I got a beat house salt. Listen, we know what. And I, I, there ain't no book on that. No. Huh? Right. There's no manual. You know, I, I, I wasn't brought up. My, my papa didn't say that. We got to go get the hog killing book out. 
No, he had a gambling sticks. He had he had butcher knives. We we had we had a big old vat that we, we scalded hogs in. Yeah. I mean, we made our own scrapers. Y'all listening? Yeah. We had we had cast iron pots. We rendered lard in. Yeah. We know we knew how many days to keep the side beat down in the salt and the shoulders. How much to keep? Hey, we knew how to grind so we taste that sausage. Baby, we'd eat that tenderloin while we praise God while we was while we while we slaughtered hogs. So I'm saying, man, but everybody okay? Yeah. Now look at me. Nobody wrote me a manual on that. Right. No. But my son's 24 years old and he can kill a hog. Stick him. Hang, he knows how to put both leaders those out. When you don't just hang a hog with one of them you've got to put both them tendons on there. Mm -hmm. Big hit 350 pound hog, listen, it, it'll, it'll pop. Yeah. you got to do it right. Yeah. Somebody help me. Yeah. There's ways to do it. Yeah. <laughs> There's ways to Now, there ain't, no, ain't nothing wrong with it either. No. It's a tradition. Right. It's something you ain't got to have a verse for. Right. But it's still right. You know, why do I say yes, ma'am, and no, ma'am? That's not Southern culture. That's tradition. That's called respect. That's right. Open the door for a lady. Yeah. You know, and if you sorry man around here won't help a lady, won't open the door. Shame on you, man. Mm -hmm. Amen. You ought to help them. I had a woman up right there to carry nothing in this building. On homecoming, you ought to be. Some men ought to be standing out there in line, toting, toting dishes back inside. Hey. Don't, don't bow your head, sir. I'm not ready to pray yet. Look, look, look up in here. What I'm talking about is it's traditional. Yeah. Now, now watch this. Y'all got your King James? Mm -hmm. yeah. Turn over here with me to Thessalonians. And I'm going to finish preaching in a minute. We're losing our traditions. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not only these girls. That, did you say right now, it, all of y'all know this is truth. You go to your, your kids and your grandkids and say, Supper time! And everybody runs and goes jumps in the car. Yeah. 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 Most of your daughters can't even, they don't even have to boil water. They a uh, button pops off a man's work shirt and they go buy a new one. Not a new button, a new shirt. That's a shame. Yeah. And I say it's a shame. Yeah. Some of y'all ought to just go on and agree with me because it's a blessed fired shame. Yeah. Amen. Oh yeah. They they don't even know they don't know one thing. They don't know margarine from butter. They don't they don't even they don't know how to cook a thing. I, I can't eat that food. <laughs> if, if all you're getting is casserole, sir, look, you got you got jip for a while. <laughs> you need at least two meats, three vegetables, cornbread, and biscuits. Somebody say, man, right? <laughs> I ain't never seen anything like what, what like I go up north to eat. It's sickening. Bunch of Yankee food. God help us. Y'all all right? <laughs> Squash casserole. Look like somebody done eat it. And spit it back out. Somebody Amy. put cheese on top of it. Yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> We, we've lost our traditions. We've lost our loyalties. Yeah. Are y'all with me? Yeah. Come on. And here, here's what he said in verse this first chapter three of Second Thessalonians. He's writing this book to the Thessalonians. Y'all all know who they are. They're Christians over there. They got started a good church, like I some Baptist church. And he said, here's the last chapter. So he said, finally. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course, be glorified even as it is with you, and that we may be delivered unto unreasonable, uh, from unreasonable and wicked men, for all men have not faith. Well, we know that's the truth. Can y'all pray that for me? And pray that for your pastor. Because these are these, these, these some wicked men that are religious and unreasonable men that are religious. Yeah. They're trying to destroy old-time religion. Oh, hey. All this new guard's trying to destroy old-time religion. Oh, hey. They're stealing our manuscripts with mm -hmm. new birds. They're stealing our music. Any of this music starts off. That ain't our kind. Right. It ain't ever going to be our kind. Hey. It wasn't our kind. It ain't our kind. Right. Hey. Hey. Ain't going to be our kind. Hey. Right. I ain't touching it with a... Ten foot pole. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I can't stand it. No. Somebody help me. Y'all yeah. still here? Yeah. Everybody okay? Yeah. Watch this. He said, I have confidence in you, verse 4, that the Lord touching you, that, that you both do and will do the things which I command you. He's fixed to give some orders. He's writing the final chapter to this, to this church. He said, I'm going to give y'all some orders. Now notice what he said in verse 6. Now we command you, brethren, in the, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now that right there ought to get everybody's attention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right there. Hey, everybody right there. Y'all remember that E.F. Hutton? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That old commercial said, yeah. my broker's E.F. Hutton. When E.F. Hutton said, everybody said, yeah. mm -hmm. they'd be at a big old party and everybody making racket dancing. But then, my broker's E.F. Hutton. 
And he had Putin said, but people just pop, go on point like a bird dog. <laughs> listen. What's he had Putin got to say? Well, now listen to what he said. I command you, brethren, that'd be good, that'd be enough, yeah. right? right? The holy man of God who's penning this letter said, I'm giving y'all a commandment. Then he said, but I'm not just commanding you, I'm doing it in what? The name of the Lord Jesus Now, Christ. that's pretty stout, y'all. Yeah. 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 My sisters used to come in and say, you need to clean up your room. I said, you ain't my daddy. <laughs> you ain't my mama. They look at your room, it looks like a hog pen. You ain't my mama. <laughs> And then in a minute they come back and say, Mama said, you know, that this makes all the difference in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that what he, look what he said. That ye withdraw yourselves from how many brothers? Every. Oh, not just some of them, but ever. That's how we say it at home. We leave the wild. We never say every, but we say ever. But it means every. Every brother that walketh disorderly and that would be disorder, that would be out of order, that would be yeah. doctrinal error, yeah. things that we know, like if somebody denies this book's the Word of God, we're not rubbing shoulders with that dude. Y'all right. yeah. ain't going to have some preacher in here that's going to read out another Bible. No. Right. This place is, would self-destruct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. People would come up out of them graves. Them oisums would come up. Somebody help me. Yeah. Yeah. Go to knocking these stained glass windows out. So I need help. Yeah. Amen. The ghost right. would start up would haunt this place. Mm -hmm. I'm, amen on this side. Has the cat got y'all's tongue, Olivia? I need an amen over there. <laughs> we're drunk from every brother that walked this order. That's somebody that's out of line doctrinally. Right. Yeah. But then he goes on to say, and not after the tradition yeah. which we perceive of us. Mm -hmm. I, I'm here tonight. I got on a white shirt. I got on wingtip shoes. I got a tie on. Because when I grew up, preachers had that on. Hey, yes, sir. Most preachers, and if they didn't have a suit, they'd wear, if they had overalls, they had them ironed. Yeah. They wore the best ones they had. Mm -hmm. If they had on brogans, they had on, if they, they had them shined, yeah. they put some neat foot oil on them, cleaned them up. If they didn't have a good pair of preacher shoes, they had the best ones they had. They, they had the, the brogans cleaned up. Y'all yeah. listen? Because mm -hmm. we had church clothes. It was church. Yeah. yeah. I had church shoes. I had church clothes. Yes. 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 Right. Now y'all stay with me. Yeah. I mean, everybody didn't take baths every day when I grew up. Don't y'all judge me because y'all didn't need them. <laughs> <laughs> them number three wash tubs. Somebody help me on Saturday night and get clean. We washed our feet every night. Mm -hmm. But but I mean, but we'd get cleaned up and go to church. Mm -hmm. Right. We washed. What? Washed. Washed. Mm -hmm. What did you say where I come from? I had R in it. But we'd wash and we got clean. Yeah. We, we'd smell like ivory soap. Yeah. We always bought ivory because it floated. Because after you, the third child, getting in that number three, listen, it better float because you ain't going to find it if it goes to the bottom. All that right. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Now, those are traditions. They're canning right now beans and, 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 and tomatoes and, and they're cutting corn off. And why? Wow, that's traditions. Yeah. It's keeping a, it kept us alive all these years. Yeah. It was a, it sustained us. Yeah. Miss Jean just went under the house in the cellar like and pulled me out a can of crap. Yeah. And I got the craving, uh, praise God, smoked sausage with it. Somebody say amen. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, I can eat backbone with it. Say, so, y'all all right? Yeah. Hey, hallelujah. When yeah. I say backbone, when I, when I say when I say sausage, when I, when I say country ham, somebody ought to raise their hand yeah, here right. and give me a witness. Amen. Yeah. Hello, thank you, sir. Yeah. Amen. I bet your blood pressure's high, too. Somebody yeah. say, oh, all right. <laughs> now, watch. watch. Are y'all still listening to me? Yeah. yeah. We, we're, we're giving up on our traditions. Yeah. Yeah. God's approved of all this generation. Yeah, right. Yeah. Ain't none of y'all bumming on people. No. Most of most of you that's with us are are with. Hey, God's took care of y'all. Yeah. yeah, Your husband's work put something back. That's right. Don't, I, I, I'm just telling it right. You, you got a work ethic. Yeah. There's tradition. Yeah. Men get up early. Yeah. I've been brought up to get up early. My one one somebody, my daddy didn't even farm. He's a preacher most all his life, but he still got up early. So I heard him one time, one of the deacons said, Curtis, why do you get up at four in the morning? He said, I want my boy to see somebody get up early. I want him to know that he ain't got to get up early. Mm. If he's going to make it. Yeah. Set an example. Yeah. Now, well, we've been blessed because of the tradition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've been handed down. And now, 
some of you, I'm just going to be honest, we, we, I'm going to include, I'm trying hard not to, but peer pressure. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I want to build a crowd at our church, but I don't want to compromise to build a crowd. Yeah. That's right. But I've had deacons come to me in their 70s say, now brother Tony, if you just tone it down a little bit, our granddaughters come over here. What he means if I wouldn't preach against anything. That's right. yeah. Mm -hmm. If I'd quit naming sin. Yep. See, as long as you preach against sin in general, well, you ought to look like a Christian. Well, that's easy. What about telling them what a Christian ought to look like? That's right. You ought to act like a Christian. Amen. Amen. That's right. Then you start describing how a Christian ought to act. All of a sudden, the brakes go. Mm -hmm. Don't go that far. You're meddling now. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. Y'all know I'm right. Amen. And so now our, our pews are empty. Yeah. And our young people are gone. They're void. Because we let up. We let them intimidate us about our traditions. Go ahead. And they come up with all this new talk, new this, new that. I, some of these what they call churches. First of all, if they don't say church on the sign, I doubt it is one. Amen. Amen. If they don't say independent fundamental missionary baby, I don't even know what that is. If, if it ain't that, I don't I don't want to be around. Somebody help me. Mm -hmm. But they, they're going to show you that and they, they got it all blacked out. Mm -hmm. They built a big old building and got exposed roofs. They got got that exposed ductwork. Looks like you in a warehouse. Yeah. 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 You know what this looks like? Looks like a church. Yeah. Because it's supposed to look like a church. Yeah. Right. These pews are bolted down. They're not going to be moved out tomorrow. And we have a dance floor in here. Right. Right. No. Amen. But these other places, they don't even look like churches. Mm -hmm. They don't want to look like church. Mm -hmm. They've left our tradition. Yeah. Right. Now let me read on because y'all still here. <coughs> I'm, the, there ain't nothing wrong with the right kind of tradition. Right. And he said, uh, verse number 10, for even as we were of you, this is commanded, uh, that, you, that if you wouldn't work, that you shouldn't eat. And then he goes on to say, and I exhort you, and he said, but ye brethren be not weary and well doing, because it's right to maintain with tradition. Right. Uh, that they want us to wear down from their attack. But, then, but he said, And if any man obey not our words of this epistle, note that man and have no what with him. Don't, Don't run around with him. That's right. With him that he may be ashamed. Mm -hmm. See, nobody, well, you're mean spirited, Brother Tony. You're mean. Well, look at a double minded man's unstable in all his ways. Mm -hmm. You can't have it both ways. That's right. Look at me, Papa. Look at me, Mamma. Either you're right, and, the, and your old Pawpaws and them was right, and the old preacher that you got saved on was right, right, or this bunch of new, bunch of long-haired, bunch of effeminate, bunch of preachers, yeah. what you want to call them, eight preachers. Right. Right. They ain't got no fire to on my chigger's feet. That's Somebody right. say amen. <laughs> ain't no more call than a jaybird's call. That right. their, their wife's call. Somebody help mm -hmm. me. Yep. And they got all right. <laughs> and we've been intimidated to leave what we are to try to build a crowd. Yeah. Yeah. Or we just won't say anything. Mm -hmm. We just bite our tongue because it causes confusion. Yeah. Now I'm just, I ain't through. I'm not through. I'm going to get to my message. <laughs> I'm talking about all Job had was what you've been given. Yeah. Tradition. Mm -hmm. That's all he clung to. And God said, I like that. Yeah. He's the right kind. Yeah. He stayed with it. Mm -hmm. He hadn't been intimidated. He hadn't been pushed around. He didn't let his children tell him, his grandchildren tell him what to do. He stayed with the truth. Amen. And what, whether they stay with it or not, you need to stay with it. Amen. Yeah. yeah. Well, I just, well, you know, it's hard with the family and all. And my daughter married that tongue talking fella and all that. And we just get around. I know, I know all that, but that don't make it right. Amen. Yeah. And that don't mean you got to apologize for righteousness. Amen. Yeah. You got to apologize for sound doctrine. That's yeah. right. Because one day, well, well, like every time we get, get get around Christmas, I just don't want to bring up religion or politics. I do. <laughs> I just like to see who gets mad right now. They can know what side they're on. Amen. I bring up religion and politics. Amen. Now watch Well, I don't want to make them mad. Well, let me tell you what's going to be. One day you're going to be in a white throne judgment. Oh, hey, Amen. Yeah. And all your unsaved family is going to be on the other side. Yeah. And me and you, the church, the Bible, and the Holy Ghost yep. are going to be judging that crowd yeah. that's on the other side. It's going to be cast into the outer darkness forever and ever. Right. Where there's weeping and nasty people who worm never died for fire. When it's all going to hell. Yeah. And they're going to look across there and say, Paul, Paul, 
Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me I was wrong wearing all them black fingernails and yeah. gothics and uh, yeah. I'm a vegan and and all that? Why didn't you tell me to buy McDonald's coffee instead of Starbucks? Bless Somebody you. help me. Bless yeah. you. Y'all all right? Yeah. Well, well, I didn't want to you because your mama didn't like it when I. Yeah. And that your mama didn't. They'd all get mad at. Bless you, and they'll wish you they'll wish you to told them. Right. Yes, sir. Yeah. Right. And you'll wish you to told them. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Well they look across and say, You mean to tell me that all them years you just never told me that I was wrong? You should have told me I was wrong, Mama. Hey, Mama, Dad, why'd y'all just well, I just believe they're gonna have to make their own decision. No, man, we need to try to we try to exhort one another about yeah. this. Yeah. yeah. Reprove and rebuke. We're salt of the earth. We're not the sugar of the earth. Right. Yeah. right. You got hangnails. You women know, but you can't. You work. We work in the kitchen. You you get a hangnail and you get some salt in it. That salt identifies itself. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. You get salt in your eyes. So it it it'll irritate your eyes. Mm -hmm. We're the salt of the earth. When we get around unsaved and backslidden people and them that profess in Christ ain't more saved than a than a than a. Uh, Fox squirrel is. Help me now. Right. And, and we get around them and we're, we're supposed to irritate them. Right. Yeah. Amen. I, I think I've lost y'all. Uh, <laughs> hey man, Brother Tony, that's good right there. I appreciate you saying all that. Keep on talking a little while. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Our traditions are right. Yes, sir. Everything we do, that red book's right. Yeah. yeah. That old church hymnal's right. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. That number six we sang, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like church. Yeah. Yeah. Any church don't sing number six, I ain't, I'm moving my letter. Somebody say amen. <laughs> they better know I want to know more about my Lord. Yeah. Yeah. They better sing page 46. I'd, I'd rather be an old time Christian than yeah. anything I know. Yeah. Yeah. We sing them all. We sing that lot. Take a moment and live, praise yeah. God. We yeah. sing all them songs. Y'all listen to me? Yeah. And, and look at me. Young people don't like them. My hind leg, they don't like them. Yeah. Them young people love that stuff. Yeah. They love those parts. They love to find what line to get on. They enjoy that kind of singing. Yeah. We dumb the church down. We dumb yes, everybody sir. down. Well, we don't know how to read music. It's funny. Uh, you get saved, he puts a new song in your heart. Yeah. Right. A sinner lost man come around here and hang around for a little while. He'll find out what the alto, like, alto and soprano is. Yes, yeah. He'll know a bass and a tenor from that. Yeah. Just look at you. ain't got to be smart for that. Right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. God shows you that stuff. That's right. Somebody help me. I feel like I'm kind of by myself. But I'm going to preach it anyway. We caved in. Yes, sir. We've lost them. Because we've just given up on tradition. Well, I, I say, I say, man, long, long live old time religion. Now, that's introduction. And I really do want to get over there before that ice cream machine cuts off. So let, let me finish this time. What Job didn't have, we already know. But what Job did have, and what we have that Job didn't have, and what he didn't know that we know. Are y'all still in chapter one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you several things. We'll go home. I'm going to do them fast. I have no idea how many points I've got. I ain't got no order to this message. I just got a message. I was getting through the night. Yeah. He had tradition. Yeah. 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 And he practiced tradition. Yeah. He only had one tradition, but he did it. Yeah. And he did yeah. it continually. He did it faithfully. And he carried on the way he was taught that his parents told him how to do it. His grandparents, he did it all the way down. That's what we need to keep doing. Right. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Right. Now yeah. watch. He didn't know that the devil had challenged God. And he didn't know that God had put him up against the devil. Right. Now you and I know that, man, we're in the world but not of the world. Yeah. Yeah. And we're in a fight. We wrestle all against flesh and blood against principalities and powers, weakness and high places. Right. Yeah. We, we know that there's a warfare going on. Yeah. Fight the good fight of faith into our hardness as a good soldier. We're, we're in a race. We're in a battle. We're in a conflict with the devil. And, and I'm competitive. Some of, some of y'all lost your competitive spirit. I'm still good. I mean, I got a, I got a uh, what you call it, a prosthetic hip. And both rotator cups is messed up. I'm, and I'm aching all over more than anywhere else. Yeah. I fell. I was hanging the back and fell out of a three tier uh, Burley tobacco barn. And uh, listen, for the end of body, out of the body, I cannot tell. Is everybody listening? And that wasn't that long ago. Is everybody still okay? Listen to me. Watch, watch me. Y'all, y'all okay? Yeah. Hey, and and, and but but we got to continue on. Yeah. Yes, sir. And he didn't know I'm competitive, even though I'm hurting all over. Right. I'm. That's where I was going with that hurting. I'm competitive. 
If I'm running that, if I'm having a race with a third grade girl, listen, if she's winning, I'll trip her. Somebody else. <laughs> I, I mean, I won't win. Yeah. We have adopted a loser's mentality. Yeah. 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 You, you, listen, you can get your grandkids back. You can get your children back. Don't throw in the towel. Right. That's right. right. Yeah. You say they're tired of hearing it. That, that faith cometh by hearing. Yeah. They got to hear it again That's and right. again. Yeah. And don't you develop that loser mentality? Yeah. Well, I just I, I know, and we always want to compare our situation to somebody that's worse than us. Yeah. Well, I know somebody this. Well, what about man? You don't have to lose your marriage and lose your family and lose you. You can maintain this thing. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We can continue. Yeah. Yes, sir. He didn't know that he was com I mean, I mean, knowing knowing that the devil uh, uh, that we've been pitted against the devil, the church. Man, I want to do something. Yeah, I don't want to lose. Right, right. Yeah. We're more than conquerors. Greater is He that's in you than He's in the world. That's right. He did not know. Doug didn't know that we know. He did not know how long it was going to last. Right. Mm -hmm. Imagine getting up every day after all your finances have been gone, your house has been destroyed, your children have died. Everything, you got, all your cattle, all your all your camels, all your sheep, they're all gone. All your investments are gone. He'd been a rich man. He'd been offering sacrifices. In fact, he was sitting in a pile of ashes. Those ashes were previously the sacrifices that he'd offered to God. He was sitting in those because he had nothing else to offer but himself. Yeah. yeah. He's sitting in that pile of ashes. Yeah. He said, Lord, I've given everything. The Lord give it, the Lord take it away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hey, he didn't know how long it was going to last, but he kept going. Right. Yeah. Every morning he'd get up and brush off the ashes off his arm. Scraping big old sores. They had, had a pot shear, broken broken clay pot, scraping scabs and pus where them flies blowing on the yeah. back. Y'all all right? Yeah. yeah. Right. Getting up, he said, Well, though he slay me, get what I serve. That's right. That's right, man. That's good, brother. Well, he kept on. Yeah. He kept on. All he had was a nagging wife. Won't you cuss God and die? He said, You should talk like a crazy woman. You talk like something out of your mind. You, you, you talk like your mama. <laughs> amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. amen. Somebody say amen. 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 Hush your mouth, woman. He kept on going. Yeah. Amen. We can't stop now just because other people ain't going. Yeah. Just because yeah. we're the only ones in our family. Yeah. Just because we're the only ones on the road. And listen, it used to be different, but hey, we got to continue. Right. right. He kept on yeah. with integrity. He kept on. He, he didn't know the whole thing was recorded. Amen. This, we got 42 chapters of record of everything that happened from this blessing to his second blessing. Amen. And I'm not yeah, talking about yeah. a second eradication of the blessing. I'm talking about the latter <laughs> blessing in his life. Right. Yeah. 42 chapters are designated this man's life. Right. Are y'all still with me? Mm -hmm. yeah. Have I lost y'all or y'all okay? Yeah. Can y'all handle just a few minutes more? Because we got, we got to fix something. We got to do something. Can't we can't quit. Yeah. Now watch it. He didn't know. He had no idea. That it things be, we're living in now reality television. Everywhere I go is a camera. Yeah. yeah. I quit picking my nose at a red light, thinking somebody's filming. Me. Somebody said, "Go yeah. all right." Yeah. Uh, everywhere I go, praise God, somebody looking at you on the camera. Yeah. Am I right, sir? Yeah. They're filming everything. Guess what? God, he didn't have no idea they was filming him, but he kept doing right. Yeah. yeah. We ought to be walking circumspectly. Oh, Billy Kelly said a circumspect walk. We're walking circumspectly. Honestly, he said that's like a that's like a tomcat walking on the top string of a bob bar fence and two foaming pit bulls on either side. So he's real careful where he puts his foot back. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. He had no idea. He had no idea when it's going to end, but he kept going. I, if I know there's 40 hours and I'm going to get paid, or 50 hours, or I got. Uh, 120 more bales on the ground. I got to put them in the barn. I can pace myself, know when I'm coming. That what it's going to be over for long. Right. Yeah. But he didn't know when it was ever going to be over. Guess what he did? He got up every day. Yeah. Faithful yeah. man. Yeah. That's right. Never yeah. knowing is the pain going to stop? Is the doubt going to stop? Is the discouragement going to stop? Is my wife ever going to run in her mouth? But I'm just going to keep on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to keep on serving God if I got to do it by myself. Right. Well, we need some of that. Yeah. No Bible, yeah. no church, no preacher, yeah. no Holy Ghost, but he said, I'm going on anyway. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Hallelujah for yeah, Joe. Right. Yeah. Hip, hip, hooray. Yeah. Three yeah. cheers yeah. for Joe. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. He's the man. Yeah. Yeah. He's a gutter. Yeah. Watch. Yeah. We need some of them yeah. Yeah. right now. Yeah. He did not know. He did not know. This, it, 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 just think about all. He didn't, man. He was sitting there. He had no idea the concept was going on. Right. He didn't know, like we know. 
that the end was going to be better than the beginning. Amen. Yeah. Turn to chapter 42. And I'm just winding it up. I got so many points in this time. <coughs> oh, they have stoned you for saying that. Some of them right now, I said that ice cream, they've been slobbering ever since I said that. <laughs> I shouldn't have said it. Yeah. Chapter 42, did I say? Yes. He didn't know this. He didn't know why he was sitting in that pile of ashes. Verse number 12, So the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning. Yeah. For he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, 1,000 yoke of oxen, and 1,000 she-asses in Jennings. Mm -hmm. And he also had seven sons and three daughters. Now he had ten of them to die, but this here says he had ten more. Yeah. Yeah. I bet you old Job's wife wish he had a die. <laughs> That's long for epidurals and all that. Bless God, she's had to bite on the bone. Somebody say amen. <laughs> Praise God. And they and, 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 and had ten more. Y'all all right? Yeah. And then it looked at, and he lived another 140 years and saw sons and sons' sons, even four generations of children. That's amazing. Yeah. So Job died being old and full of days. Now, I, that full of days, I don't tell you what that is. That doesn't mean that he lived a lot of days, though he did. The full of days means that that lapse of time where he lost ground, where he couldn't he couldn't sacrifice anything to God because he had everything sacrificed. He couldn't do much but scrape his sores and lay there in a pile of ashes. And with friends like Job who needed enemies, somebody help him. Yeah. They running him down, yeah. blaming him. He, and he was a perfect and upright man. Yeah. He, ain't done a, he ain't done everything wrong, sir. And they're accusing him of everything. Yeah. He just kept on going for God. Mm -hmm. He never charged God foolishly in all of this. Right. Isn't that something? Yeah. He died with integrity. Right. Yeah. He died with God's approval. Yeah. Didn't have a Bible. Right. Didn't have a church. Didn't have a Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. All he had was tradition. Yeah. And it saw him through. Amen. Yeah. In the end, he had more than the beginning. Double everything. Yeah. That's amazing to me. Yeah, that's good. We already know there is a land that is fairer than that. Oh, yeah. That's right. We already know that it's going to be better after a while. Amen. We already know that heaven's real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We already know Romans 8, 28. For we know that all things work together for the little of God and then that are called according to his purpose. We already know that. He didn't know Romans 8, 28, but we know it. Amen. Yeah. We knew, we, hey, he had no concept of the things that you and I, hey, we take for granted because, man, we, we've got, he didn't have what we had. Right. Yeah. Right. And in the end, Amen. you and I already know it's going to be better. Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's going to be better. <laughs> One day soon, Jesus is coming. Amen. Yeah. One day soon, all our calls and struggles are going to be over with. That's right. One day soon, all the pain that we've had to go through, all the all the broken, there's broken hearts all through this house. Mm -hmm. There's things you don't understand. There's things I wish I, I could have an explanation to. He never knew why. Job never knew why, but he never asked. Mm -hmm. He just trusted. Yeah. Yeah. Some of you wondered why I raised my children right now they're not in church. Yeah. I don't have all that answer, but I know this. If you just maintain your course, it may be after your death they come back to the Lord. Yeah. I've pastored long enough, 33 years, to watch that happen. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know what people know in heaven is more rejoicing than the present. I've often said, Lord, I wish old brother so-and-so could see his son shouting right now in church. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Instead of having to bail him out of jail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wish old sister so-and-so could see her daughter teach that Sunday school class. Yeah. Instead of coming out of another rehab center. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's all they saw before they died. But they left an example. Yeah. Now that's preaching right there. Yeah. That's yeah. right. And it's preaching what makes the road in here. Yeah. Don't y'all dare throw in the towel. Sure. Mm -hmm. hey. Don't y'all even think about agreeing with that crowd. You can take the right stand with you. don't have to be like me. You don't have to, you know, be hateful, be hard. You 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 you, you, you just just say, uh oh, we don't do it that way. Right. right. Take the right stand with the right spirit. That's good preaching. Stand, man. Your your yeah. your your family. Your, they our community is watching us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, They watching. How long are they gonna keep the doors open over there? Yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. They're watching. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Oh, I, that COVID like to kill us, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I lost people I never thought would going to church. I mean, Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, soul winners. But that, that, you can't even find them. Mm -hmm. They love that go online stuff. I'm about ready to cut that thing off. Yeah. Yes. They laying around in their PJs petting their pet, uh, cat. <laughs> hey, Amen. So, but, oh, we just feel God. We, we feel the Lord through that thing. Yeah. Well, you might can feel God. I felt God right down the road with the radio. But I tell you what you can't do. You can't obey Hebrews 10.25, not forsaking the assembly of yourself together. You cannot right. assemble That's yourself right. together on that thing. Right. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Right. This thing's about to be over with. Yeah. I don't want it to be said, I wish to have. I won't be able to say I'm glad I did. Yeah. I see the lights of that city so bright. Yeah. Of my home, sweet home. We're nearing the shore. We're nearing the shore. Soon our troubles will be o'er. We'll suffer no more. Heartache all gone and victory's won. Tis joy to know they were nearing the shore. And I see the lighthouse. He's Jesus divine. Who will say welcome, dear children of mine. Come in and rest in this land so fair. Tis a joy to know they were nearing the shore. Yes, yes. This thing's about over. That's right. Yeah. That's right. This thing, it ain't time to quit. That's right. It's not time to apologize for right. Amen. We've been doing this a long time. We've been doing it this way a long time. Yes, sir. And it's had the approval of God on it every step yes, of the way. We just got to maintain. Yeah. If some morning I am gone from this veil of tears, I'm going home to live again. I am going on a trip. When I say goodbye, I'll live again over on the other side. I'll live again over on that golden strand. I'll sing and shout with a mighty angel band. You'll see me rise beyond the starry skies. I'll live again. Over on the other side, I have a mansion over there, built in beauty rare. I'm going home to live again when they lay me in the grave. Don't you weep for me, I'll live again. Over on the other side, I'll live again. Over on that golden strand, I'll sing and shout with a mighty angel band. You'll see me rise beyond the starry skies. I'll live again over on the other side. That's a reality. Amen. It's going to be better over yonder. Yeah. It'll be better over yonder. Oh, yeah. You say, well, I, I, once I get there, maybe I'll find out. I think when you get there, you won't even be worried about what you're going to go right. yeah. I, I highly doubt that old Job, when he got over there, said, now, Lord, why? Mm -mm. I, don't, I don't believe he asked any questions. Mm -hmm. We're living in an hour of con consistent compromise. Yeah. <clears throat> this part of the world used to be the buckle of the Bible Belt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything I do, I pattern after after North Carolina. What I preach, I pattern after North Carolina <coughs> preachers. Our choir sings like a North Carolina old, old time, I'm talking about convention style singing choir. Y'all set the pattern all these years. Amens, hallelujahs, yes. shouting Baptist. Mm -hmm. Now look where we are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we 
just changed it a little. That's all it takes. Yes, yes. sir. Yes. Go ahead. Sure. Yeah. Just change it a little and you ruined it all. Yep. Oh you ruined it all. Yep. We can't leave one ingredient out of the recipe. Right. If it's going to be the right way. And I pray that God will help us. And I feel like I'm part of y'all. In this thing. Mm -hmm. I'm preaching to you tonight from the burden of my heart. Man, we, we got to stay with what we've been taught. Yeah. yeah. If it's embraced or if it's rejected, mm -hmm. that doesn't make it right or wrong. Right. You understand? They can like it, it won't be right. They can hate it, it won't be right. It's right because the Bible says it. Sure. That's right. Amen. Amen. Our Heavenly Father, what an hour we live in. I never thought I'd see the time in church history in my life. I knew it was prophesied it's going to get worse. I, I've read about the layout of seeing church. I didn't think we would be there. I didn't think we'd be the ones. I thought there'd be other preachers standing where I stand tonight in this hour. But I'm looking tonight. I'm looking across families and, and lives that Lord, have been, been <coughs> under attack of the devil. Satanic attack. Trying to get us to change and alter and go another way. Look another way. Bite our tongue from keep from saying truth. But I pray you'd raise us up tonight. Give us backbone. Give us a determined spirit. Like old Daniel of old who purposed in his heart. Way before the temptations came, he had already made up his mind what he's going to do. And I pray for Papa and Granny and I pray for Mama and Daddy and I pray for young people here. That Lord, we'd make up our minds yeah. just like those saints of old. That we're going to stay with this stuff. We're going to maintain the course even to the ends of the age. That's the commandment that's given. And Lord, help us to do it. 